Hello and welcome back to Black Dice Gaming. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the uh, Demon Princes. Uh, I've just recently bought the uh, Slaves to Darkness box set and I've completed uh, my did well, not 100% complete, there's still a few things I'm going to do to it, a few more highlights and whatnot, and finish the base off. Uh, but uh, she's about finished. Uh, there won't be a, a painting tutorial for this one uh, because I just sort of started it and ended up finishing it in in a day uh, without, without filming any of it. Uh, but I absolutely loved painting it up. Uh, so I thought, well, well, let's get the old one. Let's compare the two. Uh, seeing as I've never actually built or painted the old one, it'd be good to do a comparison. Uh, so we're going to do a little unboxing of it, for those that don't know what's in the box. I'm just taking the plastic off now. Uh, then I'm going to make one up and we'll do a side-by-side -side view. thought it would be interesting to see them next to each other. Okay, so the box is empty. Uh, as always, you get your lovely little book. Uh, obviously, you can build one for Age of Sigma or indeed uh, 40k. Uh, got your roll sheets there. And therefore, Age of Sigma appropriately. Uh, so, this one's going to, I'm probably going to do this one uh, with a mark of corn uh, for those that are following the channel. Uh, I'm building up an army. Uh, for, for the uh, Slaves to Darkness. Uh, but I'm also doing sort of corn theme as well. So uh, I'm going to incorporate them both. Uh, so the first sprue we're going to look at is basically the wings. Uh, straight away you can see they're not quite as good as the uh, the new model, but this is an older model, so we'll we'll forgive it for that. And on this side, I think you've got your 40,000, 40k pieces there. That looks like the backpack and then your, your claw hands and whatnot. Uh, so we won't be using those. They'll go straight into the bits box. Uh, and this one is your sort of main body, just here. Uh, legs and tail, loincloths and shoulder pads and whatnot. They're probably knee pads, I would imagine. Uh, we've got some weapons at this side. We've got one hell of a sword. That's a lovely sword. Uh, but I feel we're going to be using the axe, even though I do actually like that sword. Mm, decisions. Uh, we'll probably be using the axe. Uh, we've got head options. We've got this one down here. Uh, we've got, sure, I've just seen another one there. And this one here. So I think we're probably going to be using this one. This one looks more corn esque to me. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get one built up and we can do a side by side comparison. And I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, we're back. We've got the uh, new Demon Prince, or the, the old version of the Demon Prince made up now. Uh, just here. I, I have left the armor panels off his uh, legs just for ease of painting. And I'm undecided about using these shoulder pads. I do like them, uh, but I think they're probably designed for 40k. But hell, I might, I might just add them on anyway. A uh, couple of things. I do think it's a little smaller, uh, both the size of the actual model and the, the, the overall wingspan of the, the items. Uh, certainly less detailed, uh, but a lot easier to put together. This came in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 parts, including the base. Whereas this was roughly 6 million parts, I think it was. 
or close to six million by the time uh, you put everything on. Obviously, I'm jesting. It wasn't quite as many, but it was it was certainly 30, 30 pieces. The wings themselves was in three pieces. Uh, even the shoulder pad, I think that was three or four pieces. Chest plate was three pieces. So, and it just goes on and on, obviously. Uh, even his hand was was three, two pieces. So, yeah, the, the, it, this was a lot more complex to put together. Uh, I wasn't overall happy with the, the final build. I had problems with the chest uh, lining up. Uh, so, obviously, attaching the chest panel was a little bit more tricky. Uh, but, you know, it's it's a lot more detailed. It's a lot better looking model. Side by side. You know, they're, they're both, both lovely miniatures. Uh, but obviously the new one just has that, that sort of edge. Certainly with the detail, as you can see here. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll get, we'll get it uh, painted up and, and see what the, the, the final result is. Uh, join me. I'll probably do a painting video on, on uh, this, this, this demon. Uh, I'm planning on doing a very, very basic paint job. Uh, nothing quite as complex as this one. Uh, but just get it on the table. Get it battle ready quickly and efficiently. Okay, so uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, join me on my journey as I swell the ranks of my Slaves to Darkness and Corn Armies almost simultaneously, <laughs> working on both at the same time. Uh, drop a, a, a comment if you'd like to see anything in particular, and I'm still getting over the cold, so forgive my voice. Hopefully, uh, we'll have that back on track before too long. Uh, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.